how to receive advance payment, create an invoice and receive the complete payment in QuickBooks. Sometimes your customer may pay you an advance for the products or the services you provide. This payment has to be recorded systematically to ensure that your bookkeeping records have all the needed information. QuickBooks allows you to enter advance payment received in quick, easy steps. In this video, you will learn how to receive advance payment, create an invoice, and receive the complete payment in QuickBooks. Let us see how to enter an advance payment received from the customer. To enter an advance payment from your customer, click plus on the top right. Select Bank Deposit under Other. In the Bank Deposit page, use the Account drop-down list to choose the applicable bank account into which the funds will be deposited. Select the currency as applicable. Note that tax on advance payments from customers is not handled by QuickBooks. To avoid an error, select the option Out of Scope of Tax Option from the Amounts R drop-down list. Fill in the Add Other Funds to this Deposit section. Enter the customer's name in Received From. Select Accounts Receivable or Debtors from the Account drop-down list. Choose the appropriate payment method. Enter the received amount in the Amount section. Click Save and Close to save the payment. When you make a sales transaction with your customer, you will issue an invoice that has all the information about the sale. If you are a product-based organization, the invoice will have details about the products sold to the customer along with the quantities and prices. If you are a service-based organization, the invoice will detail the services offered to the customer and the amount. Let us now create an invoice. Click the plus icon on the top right and select Invoice under Customers. You will see an invoice page like this. Select the customer from the drop-down list. Also select the terms from the drop-down list. Terms indicate the period after invoice generation. Scroll down to enter the details of the sale. You can either select the product or service from the drop-down list or click Add New to add the product or service entered. Suppose you have already received an advance and now you are issuing an invoice for the balance amount. Enter the amount received as an advance in the deposit field. Please note that the deposit field appears on the invoice only if you have turned on the deposit setting in your company settings page. You can view the invoice before printing it by clicking on Print or Preview. The preview of the invoice gets displayed. You can check whether all the details are entered correctly before you proceed to print or send it to your customer. Select the number of copies of the invoice that you need from the drop-down list and click Print. To leave the preview page without printing, click Close. On the invoice page, you can either save or save and send the invoice by clicking the options at the bottom right. It is one of the basic axioms of business. Customers pay us when we invoice them. Let us now understand how we can enter a complete payment and apply the advance payment, if any, to an invoice in QuickBooks. Click the plus icon on the top right and select Receive Payment Under Customers. From the drop-down list, Select the customer the invoice is for. Note that the customer's outstanding transactions, including invoices and credits, if any, get listed. Change the payment date if required. Select the invoice for which 
you wish to apply the advance payment. Select the advance payment to be applied to the invoice. If the payment exceeds the advance payment amount, fill in the payment method reference number, deposit to and amount received fields. You may also enter a memo if necessary. Select save and close to apply the advance payment or the deposit and close the invoice. While completing the payment, if you see that the advance payment has been applied automatically, Turn off Automatically Apply Credits in your company settings page. Sign in to QuickBooks for hassle-free bookkeeping.